becoming your very own blue dog. Now wait, I bet you're wondering, do I have to paint my dog blue? Just like in the story, Blue Dog isn't always blue. He got the name because that's what George Rodriguez was famous for, for making that dog very often blue. But sometimes he's other colors, so you'll have your choice. Um, please find a piece of paper and turn it vertical, tall like a giraffe, and you're gonna need a pencil with an eraser. We're gonna draw together the dog. Please make any changes that you like. If there's something that you prefer to do a different way, that is completely up to you. I'm just gonna give you some suggestions on how I like to draw the dog, and then give you some options to personalize it at the end. In the video, you're gonna see me drawing with a marker. That's just so that it's easier for you to see on the camera. As I draw, please feel free to pause at any moment or go back and rewatch something. I strongly suggest that you use this paper right here as a practice and create another drawing that you will turn into your painting. Just use this one to kind of learn how you'd want the blue dog um, to come about on your page. So we're gonna work together I'm gonna be in about the top one third of the paper and I'm gonna be drawing two eyes for the blue dog. So what I like to do is make a little dot that I color in. So I'm coloring those in solid and you can see about where I am on the paper. I'm not way, way, way at the top. I'm a little bit down because I'm gonna need some room for doggy ears. Next, I'm gonna go back in and make another circle around that first circle that you saw. Now you always have the option to go back in and trace your lines over with a marker once you know where they are. So um, please start with pencil and then adjust later if you'd like to outline it. I'm doing another circle. Is this starting to remind you of the symbol for Target? These two are very close together. I'll let you check that out. See if you've got a match. And then we're gonna be coloring that in. So it's gonna look like a SpaghettiO with a little meatball inside of it. Maybe even looks like a little Cheerio when I'm done coloring. So shade this in with your pencil so that you remember that this needs to be dark. Now we're starting with the eyes because you may have noticed in all the blue dog pictures, he always has blue dog looking right at you. Um, and it's what you notice first that that dog is staring right at you. That is emphasis because that's what you notice first. After you see those eyes, your brain realizes oh, there is a dog. So the emphasis in all the pictures is the dog. So we're gonna make the dog really large. It's the most important part of his painting. It's gonna be the most important part of our painting. What we'll do next is make his cute little eyebrows. What I like to do is make this look like a Cheeto. So I'm gonna draw the outside edge first. It kind of looks like a fuzzy little worm there. And on the other side, I sometimes try to make one that's even bigger. So they're kind of purposely two different sizes. Outside first, then go back in and fill those in. And that just kind of helps to frame his cute little face. The next thing we're going to need to do, take a look at that there, is we're gonna be making a little rainbow line between his eyebrows. So go ahead and try that on your paper. And then we're gonna skip some space. We're skipping down because we're gonna be drawing what's gonna be the bottom of his nose. He's a dog with a nose that sticks out. So what we're gonna do down here is make a kind of rounded letter U Try that. And our next move is gonna be to connect these two together. So what that means is we're gonna start with the rainbow, we're gonna come in where his eyes are, and then go out where the letter U is. And again, this is his, um, the outside edges of his nose, the part that would pop out from his face. Going back in, we're gonna be doing the details in his nose. So we're gonna be at the bottom here, drawing a half of a circle. And when you have that half circle done, please draw two little nostrils. So I like to draw two little circles there. 
And then I'll go back in and I'll color in that nose who's got what looks like a dark, little wet, cute doggy nose. Next, we're gonna be drawing the top edge of his head. So we're gonna go above his nose and this time just make a little bit longer of a rainbow. Try that out on your paper. So what I just added is right here, this long line that's curved like a rainbow. Next, we're gonna be doing his ears and he's somewhat of a chihuahua mix. So very, very large ears um, are what he normally has when I see him in the artwork. And you know, big ears are definitely very cute on a dog. We're gonna think about making a triangle, but we don't want those straight line edges. We want it to look like it has a texture, that it looks like fur. So as we go with to make that triangle, we're gonna to start to go up, down, up, down, and just kind of wiggle your pencil a little bit as you're drawing so that you end up with what almost looks like a feather. So that's gonna be one ear on this side, and of course we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, wiggling your pencil a little bit to get that texture on the ear so that it looks like fur. At this point, I like to go back in and just kind of make some rough lines to sort of show a shadow inside of his ears. So that's like where the sound would go in. It gets kind of smaller as it goes up. We'll form his face next, which is going to be mostly a circle shape, but we are gonna stop and do an M, up, down, up, down, and then connect it to his nose. So that gives it a little look of being kind of furry. So that's gonna create the shape for his face. We're gonna skip down now, because we're gonna be making his legs. So for his legs, we're gonna be making his front legs first. That's gonna look like the number 11. So see a number 11 here, and then I'm gonna make the second one right here. We're gonna add in his feet, and his feet are gonna be pointing to the outside edge. So I just curled it around, it almost looks like a boot. And curl it around on this side as well. You can go back in and add some details, some little paws or claws. Now we're ready for his body. His body is going to be a big circle shape. So make a rounded line that starts from his head, curves around into his leg here. And same over here. Now you may have noticed that we've got a gap here between the legs, we need to draw a little line here to create his tummy. I've got a chubby little dog today. Um, next, we're gonna do um, his back paws. Now, he's sitting down and most of his leg is covered up. We just see a little bit of his paw sticking out on either side. Now, looking at that dog, you're probably thinking that we're missing the tail. Well, we're purposely not drawing in the tail together. At this point, we want you to try to come up with a theme for your dog. This is a little bit like Paw Patrol, where each of the dogs have their own job. For example, you might decide to make a firefighter dog. If that's the case, you might give him a hat and you might decide to make his tail to look like a fire hose. Another idea is that you might decide to dress your dog up as a cheerleader and the tail would then become a pom-pom. Sometimes people do um, something such as a teacher and make a pencil for the tail. You could do a red, white, and blue 4th of July dog if you'd like, and you would make the tail into a firework. So there's lots and lots of possibilities. Please give your dog some details and colors so that we can see your theme, so add things such that the dog might be wearing. So it's okay to go back in and erase and adjust things. For example, if you want the dog now to be wearing shoes and think about what would be needed in the background for people to understand your theme. I'll give an example. I've seen students do a superhero dog and then they make him having a cape and flying over a small city underneath. And the city is really small beneath him so you can tell that he is flying off to save someone. 
Can't wait to see what creative ideas you come up with. I recommend doing as you're painting is painting the outside of the shape and then doing that very slow and careful and then going back in and filling in the inside of the shape that way you can paint faster on the inside but you're going slow 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 and careful on those outside edges where it matters <laughs> 